Welcome back to another episode of Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And today we're going to be going right back into our 1792, 1792. line. This expression is foolproof. the foolproof, which is kind of interesting because it's not barrel proof. They actually take it. Um, Just so, a smidge down. Yeah. So legally, whiskey can only be put in the barrel at 125. Then depending on the humidity and where it is in the, in the heat, um, a lot of times you'll lose a little bit of water. The proof will come up. That's what this happens to this. So the proof comes up from that 125 and then they proof it right back down to 125. So it's the exact same proof, proof as it went into the barrel. Mm -hmm. Kind of an interesting concept. Uh, a lot of the other ones, so like bookers and things like that, they're truly barrel proof. So that's the difference, I guess, between foolproof and barrel proof which really now makes sense for the Weller foolproof is what, 114? So they must barrel it at like 115-ish. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's, so, so, hey, live and learn, right? Outside of that, this is the fourth. Yeah, fourth, fourth out of this lineup. Yeah, they did a couple other ones uh, from the original small batch. They did the- uh, Small port single barrel. Single barrel and the sweet wheat. Yep. And then this one came out. Yep. So, and this one is a store pick. We did have a liquor store close to us that was able to do that. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's got the sticker on the front. Yes, it does. So this is the. They're known for their high rye. Yeah, they are a higher high rye, rye bourbon. They, they don't share it. It's, let's say, twenty ish percent. Yeah. It's what. Most people think it's right around that 20%, but they don't particularly share. And 1792 is Barton. Right. Barton is owned by Sazerac, same people that own Buffalo Trace. Right. So they kind of, at least, and some of them actually are distilled in Bardstown and bottled. No, this one's actually bottled there. But I've seen where they're distilled in Bardstown and, and bottled, bottled in, what? nope. What's the capital? Frankfurt. Yes, thank you. And that's where Buffalo Trace is. <laughs> uh, get the, uh, the alcohol, the, uh, the 125 note off the nose, but. Yeah, that, and that's, it's it's there. It's a little harsh and I'm. I get some oak, wood. I even cheated just to take like a quick sip to try <laughs> to get used to it. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> that is a really strong ethanol note on the nose. Which makes me wonder, did they don't release it? Apparently in the press release when they originally released this, which was in sometime in 2016, they did say that it was uh, around, it was either six and a half or eight and a half years. I can't remember, but it's not listed on there. Um, so technically it could have changed from the date that they originally did it. The finish is, it lingers. Initially starts hot, but I don't think it's that bad. I don't mind the lingering finish. It's trying to pick up the note though. Yeah, I was gonna say it starts really hot. There's a lot of oaky notes. Mm -hmm. Is really what comes through first. Is I get a lot of oak notes on the front of that flavor. So much on the nose. The taste is okay, but that I, I enjoyed the finish on this one. Though. You're not gonna <laughs> get all three. You can get two out of three. <laughs> well, the nose is shot. Yeah, because all you get is ethanol. Much. Yeah. The, the initial palette is, there's a lot of oaky, spice, tanniny type note that comes through char. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm not necessarily, I'm not feeling it. How about that? I probably like, I think I like the bottled and bond a little bit better. I think their Definitely. flagship one's still the best. The small batch is probably their, their best overall Flavor profile. And I understand why they did it, because there's a lot of the lines that do yeah, the full the proof, full proof. The barrel proof. I get that. Everybody's messing around in that to stand out and charge a little more. Yeah. Still, I still think the small batch is their best one. Yeah, that it's not getting better. <laughs> it is very sharp. There's a lot of really sharp But if you had drink it, aggressive the proof notes. alone, if you probably would have put a cube. Yeah, yeah it probably, absolutely. It probably would Melody but I'm cheating. Little. So I'm thinking 125, you know, all the bookers that we've, we've had on this is high 120s, mm -hmm. you know, in that same ballpark. And that's got, it's sweeter, it's 
just smoother. They're, it's round. Like there's just more of a round there's more to flavor. this. There's more flavor. This is aggressively just hot. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing that I'm getting. Aggressively hot. And it's probably the rye. True. True. There's a big difference. Uh, yeah. So, I, yeah, I don't think Booker's is a, a high rye mm -hmm. bourbon by any means. So the fact that you have it at a higher proof and there's a pretty decent amount of rye in it mm -hmm. finally started to get a sweet nose off the nose. Yeah, I don't mind the that initial finish, but yeah. But after the, if you don't go right back to it, it doesn't. It, it ends like case like grass. Yeah, there's there's a yeah there's some kind of a like the, how the grass smells after you cut it. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a yeah maybe a little bit of a wet grass. Yeah, I can yeah. kind of see that. It's not a great finish to it. Price wise, we're looking at what one? No, somewhere is around sixty bucks, right? Fifty, sixty bucks. Okay. I mean, this is a store pick, so it's gonna be a little bit more. Right. So I think this was closer to the sixty, but if you can find it, it's gonna be somewhere between fifty, sixty, low fifties, mid fifties. Store pick, gonna be closer to sixties. I would say the regular, the small batch is a. I wouldn't buy it buy. again. Uh, it's honest, a better buy. Still, it's um, the small batch. Uh, I buy the small batch, yeah. and thankfully the small batch you can buy in this size. Pretty handy, yeah. Or the handle. Pretty easy to find, mm -hmm. yeah, no question It's about always that. readily available at almost any store I walk into. Oh, man, that's so sharp on those. <laughs> that rye snifter you got. Well, it's not, it's, not, it's not that herbally spicy rye. It's just so ethanol strong. It's not... That taste initially, I got the... Um, I got a sweet corn. I took a medium sip. Okay. Then let it sit for a while, just to kind of swallow it right away. And I got more of a sweeter note. Then now even the finish is sweeter. Different palates. I'm not getting that. <laughs> I am not enjoying that at all. Well, thankfully we're it's almost, we're almost done with this bottle. The, everything about that is like aggressive. It is what I'm getting. There is not, I think this is one you probably you need to drink over a cube. I would say, yeah, over a cube. You need to water it down a little bit. It's going to yeah. open some other of those sweeter Hopefully. flavors up. <laughs> That's, Hopefully. Yeah. But that is that is aggressively I don't ethanol and like oaky char is really all I'm getting. I don't here. fault them for trying because everyone else is doing the full yeah, proof. Yeah, absolutely. Barrel proof. You know, they have their whole lineup. Mm -hmm. So... People like to have that too. Like mm -hmm. I, I think there's a lot of people that are, hey, we're doing it. I mean, that's kind of what we're, we've been doing. We have a, a, a setup where we're doing a lineup of all the different whiskeys. It's kind of fun to be able to say, you know, here's what happens after, you know, keeping the proof high. Here's mm -hmm. what happens if I finish it in something else or chain tweak this, you know, particular grain or, or makeup mm -hmm. or years or whatever it is. So I, I get it. I don't think they did a very good job with it. That's my opinion. I don't think they care what my opinion is, but my opinion is they did not do a very good job with it because their small batch is significantly better, and you would think that just having the proof difference would have been... How about if you took the small batch, more which flavor. is what? Mid-80s? Proof it up just a little bit more. It'd still be pretty solid. Well, that, that's the bottle and bonds, yeah, 100, yeah. and it's it's very tasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think their wheelhouse would is 25 mid 80s be to like mid 90s though. Yeah, but for their for their mash bill, the high rye. I think that's probably everything where starts they, to get a little sharper. Need, where they probably need to stick. Spicy. <laughs> that's so spicy. We got a few more in the lineup. My argument is, no, I would steer away greatest. from that one. I would steer away from that one. It's not the greatest. Um, yeah, we have a couple more. We have single barrel. Single barrel and sweet wheat. And wee. the sweet wheat. Yes, we've confirmed this. Close. Yes. Okay. And I have a, a 12 year bottle, and he'll let us. Yeah, and a 12 year, sample. which I'm, I'm actually interested to see if you age it out longer. Mm -hmm. What does that do with the flavor? Because barrels make a huge difference. I mean, look at the old Forester lineup. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of a lot of that flavor profile is due to a double barrel or an extra char or da, 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 like all those kind of things. So, 
you know, I'm kind of interested to see what a 12 year does. They figured it out though. Old Forester, ha so far I'm going to say as a lineup, Old Forester has done a much better job with their lineup than 1792 has. No, but I do appreciate the the brand the yeah. that they try to do their their lineup and just kind of one up one recipe and see mm -hmm. her age a little bit longer, you know, the foolproof bail. I, I do I do appreciate that and I do enjoy sampling trying to figure out, you know, doing the, doing a comparison. Yes. But, um Yeah. Yeah, this one is uh it's unfortunately for me it's probably not a buy again. Even, no. even if it's a store pick, if they're mm -hmm. sampling it when I walk in, I will absolutely sample it. But probably, probably just going to stick to the flagship for yeah. me. I've got, no, I've got nothing to add to that because I'm not even sure I'd sample it at this point. <laughs> I guess you would. <laughs> I'd sample it to see if it was better. <laughs> right. That is not. Especially it's from a different not. liquor store. See if someone on another store. Yeah, is there a difference? I wonder. Is there truly a difference from a like they're single it's barrel all based select. On their palate, so who do they send up there? But this isn't a single barrel. This is a full proof. So is this a single barrel at full proof? When since you have a store select, I wonder. I wonder if there's truly a difference between like regular full proof and the fact that you have a store pick. I, don't know. I think that store did not do a good job. I'm not going to mention the store. <laughs> don't. Good, it's out of frame, so don't zoom in. <laughs> Everyone's palettes are different. For us, this Absolutely. is not a, not a buy again. No. Um, flagship still for me the winner. All bonds still Agreed. the winner for you. I think so, yeah. I like the little extra proof there. We've got a couple more. We do. So, again, as always, we'd love for you to leave a comment on your favorite 1792. And if you've got a store pick or any other lineup that's your favorite, we'd love for you to drop us a comment. But as always, we'd love for you, if you enjoyed the episode, to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. And while you're down there, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'd really appreciate that. It helps us with uh, just getting more notice on the whole YouTube algorithm craziness that, that is whatever technology they're doing. And if you hit the bell icon, you get notified every time that we put out a new show. And Leave us a comment. Um, really enjoy interacting with everybody that leaves comments on the show. So uh, I very much encourage you to do it because it's fun. Yep. We love reading them. We do. So until next episode, appreciate you joining. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.